All right, so we're doing another video today on uh, some of Hike Vision Vision's products. I actually have uh, two of the Hike Vision reps here with me today. And uh, today we're gonna go over uh, the color view cameras, uh, the Hike Vision's new color view cameras, which currently is only available in a four megapixel, hopefully an eight megapixel soon. Uh, we're using this uh, Hike Vision 7600 series NVR to run this. And I'm gonna let them, uh, let the two reps here, uh, Josh and Peter, uh, go over the, um, the differences of the cameras and the functionality and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna step aside and let you see that. The color view uh, turret, so I know y'all have one installed over at the project at Shopping Center. Yep. Um, so for instance, the reason I chose that one in that location is because it's gonna be dark. Um, it's on the side of the building. And this is meant for 24 seven color images. So <clears throat> if there's a larger area or even like a small corner, where you're not getting a lot enough light at night, because I know that area is really large. There's very few external lights um, that I saw. You know, I've been out there several times, even in, in the evenings. And I think the color view turret for that application is going to be stellar, um, because you're going to be able to see not only a vehicle, a person. You're going to get a color off of the vehicle. I'm not going to guarantee a plate, but right. you may even get a plate um, off of it. You can get a shirt. You can get a hat color maybe an emblem, so you get more details. So whenever you guys go back and review that footage, you can say, okay, you know, it was a white male wearing a black shirt, um, possibly had red shoes, you know, whatever it is, you guys can then go back and take that to the police. Um, <clears throat> as opposed to an old black and white IR, right? right? Everybody knows what those look like. It's terrible. Right. Um, so this is the color of your turret. It's a four megapixel, so that's four million pixels on that one field of view. Um, this is the one he's showing you right here. That's the image. And why don't we go ahead and shut the lights off? Just to give you an idea of what it looks like there. So, wow, there it is. And that's without the supplemental light, which that's I haven't right. even got to that yet. Yeah, so we did it without the TV earlier. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Let's go ahead and cut that one off. All right, so just to give you an idea. Uh, not bad. I mean, if you look at the back in here. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we're not paying attention behind you. <laughs> so that's the color view turret. Um, it's a large lens aperture on it, so it'll bring in more light. Mm. And I will let uh, Peter take over from here and talk to you guys a little bit more about the specs. Like, but yeah. only in the dark. Yeah, yeah only in the dark. Only at the light. <laughs> so it's a fixed lens, 2.84 uh, and six is what it comes in. Um, like he said, you know, the large aperture, which brings in four times the amount of light than a normal camera would bring in. And obviously, like, like he had mentioned, if you see color at night, you can get notifications on humans and cars because you can identify color, anything you want. A big deal with IR license plates, especially at night with lights are on, headlights are on. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is IR is limited in distance. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. So now we don't have that with the color view. There's no limitation on the distance. Well, I mean, so, light, so, so with the supplemental light, it's about 30 meters. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and then obviously we didn't, it wasn't dark enough in here for that supplemental light to come on. But you can have this set as a schedule, come on at certain times, um, or just leave it on day or night. It'll just shut off, you know, with sunset, or turn on with sunset, turn off with, you know, sunrise. Um, uh, four megapixels, soon to be eight. Um, let me show you actually some of the slides because I think that's what sure. uh, would really help. Again, large aperture, four times the amount of light. Um, a supplemental light, you can put it from zero to 100%, whatever your doings are. If you want it brighter, dimmer, no, however you're it saying is. you can adjust it? Correct, okay. yeah, from zero to 100%. Okay. So now here, here's what we were talking about. So. If you look, you see the IR, how it gives you that light reflection there in the green box. Yeah. Right? Now look over here on the color view. Yeah. It's actually a child back there. Yeah. Huh. You see that? You can't even see the child in the first picture. So this is obviously a great advantage. And like we had mentioned, human targets, you can capture color, the red jacket, the white hoodie. We can get all that now with the color view, which we couldn't do before with mm -hmm. an IR. Mm -hmm. Another one license plate like they just mentioned look here we can see the license plate with the color view we cannot with the ir yep. Yep. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Here's another one. They're just uh, pay attention to that fence line. You see those dotted where yeah. the cars are sitting along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just you really have no idea what's going on back there. I mean, you got an image, but now when I do the color, oh, wow. look at that. I like that one. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. my favorite. That was, that's, that's a really good one. Mm -hmm. Eleven forty-seven p.m. So I mean, there's wow. there's all it's taken in is the moonlight. Yeah. And this is just kind of a show you what a warm light would do. So basically instead of an IR, we use the, the white light. I said 30 meters is about hundred feet. You can disable it, mm -hmm. enable it, just whatever you feel like doing. And the, the rest of this is the, the more of the AccuSense. Um, but as you see here, the first eight megapixels just right around the corner there. Mm -hmm. And it'll come in at 2.84 and eight. I mean, 2.8, four millimeter, eight megapixel. Mm -hmm. okay. Also, I forgot to mention, you could also get a, it has, get a built-in mic. Okay. But you could also do a two-way conversation too. Really? Th those are just all options, mm -hmm. depending on what you need. Occasionally, we have customers ask us for audio and things like that. Um, just to hear, not for two-way communication. Yeah, not for, they wanted to hear it and record it. And all, it was a complicated setup we had, but hardly ever do we have that. Sometimes. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. that one also has the pre-configured messages, or is that only the AccuSense 2.0? As far as I know, I think it's just the AccuSense. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so the AccuSense, I mean, you know, you were talking earlier with images yeah. and differences. <clears throat> well, this has a lot of advantages too, different ways, alarms, sirens. You can put pre-recorded messages, <clears throat> tell somebody to get off your premises, <clears throat> police are coming. It'll you know, just I'll automatically say that over here. By motion, yeah. yeah. Really? And you said it that way. So you can upload your voice or your you know, oh, your greetings. Okay. Um, and a siren that's really annoying. So right. I don't think anybody wants to be stealing while this thing's going off. Gotcha. Uh, but that, that'll that be for another conversation. I really wanted to just compare it to the color view. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think, that's, I think that was it, just on that. Uh, it was a 50 page slide, slides that I created, and I'm only showing just a few because Josh didn't want to get into too much with the, the AccuSense yet. Mm -hmm. So any questions? Oh, oh, by the way, it's also available in Bullet. Okay. Very good. You're just seeing the turret. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so that wraps up our meeting with, with uh, the Hike Vision team with Josh and Peter. Um, they were basically showing us the color view uh, features of it and what it looks like versus a normal camera during the day and during night. Um, the whole point of the color view camera is that you can get, you know, 24 7 color image, regardless of it being pitch black outside, you can get a color image in the dark. We just installed one on one of the projects we were doing, and specifically it was being used because they had people that were dumping trash in the trash can at night, they couldn't make license plates out and things like that. So we put up one of those color view cameras uh, about 15 feet up, aimed it right at the trash cans, and now he can see in color 24 7. So it's a great product by Hike Vision. Um, we just made a real quick impromptu video, so I'll go ahead and just discuss that real quick. The quality of image that you get at night on that Hike Vision model is, on the color view is very impressive, actually. It's better than any of the other ones I've ever seen. Um, I'm sure there's some other people out there trying to do this technology or even doing it currently, but the color view for us has opened up more opportunities to be able to to sell a specific solution for a specific problem. And that problem is not being able to see in color at night. Because anybody that's ever seen a normal camera at night, even though it has infrared, it's, you can tell it's an infrared. It's, it's a little different. The, there are shades of grays and greens and things like that. But now with this color view camera, you can get you know, full quality color pictures 24 seven. So that's fantastic. So it's a solution that we're offering to our customers. It's a solution that you should offer to your customers, uh, especially if you're in the CCTV. Uh, business. So uh, they currently, I believe we were talking about it, it only has a four megapixel. They're working on, I think, a six and an eight or at least an eight. Uh, so those will come out soon and we'll continue to do more reviews for Hike Vision products throughout the process. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and give the Hike Vision color view camera five padlocks. It's, it's, it's a great product. They're leading the way in, in this technology. Um, the image quality is fantastic. I've never seen a uh, quality of picture this, this well, especially in dark. It's it's uh it's cutting edge so we're going to sell it to our products for sure we've already sold it to our, our customers i mean and uh, we have a couple other bids right now that we're bidding those particular cameras in so uh five five padlocks for the color view cameras uh with hike vision and uh it's 
hopefully you uh, can install these for your customers and enjoy it too. And now we could offer a solution that we weren't able to previously offer to a customer. So um, like I said earlier, we're gonna be doing a lot of Hike Vision uh, reviews and product reviews because that is our go-to. And we do, our, here at Guardian Safe and Lock, 99% of all the camera systems we install is Hike Vision products. They're my favorite brand. Uh, their quality is great. Their warranty is great. Their customer service is great. We have relationships with our technicians that go with us to do bids and everything. So Hike Vision, five padlocks for the, uh, for the color review, five padlocks as a company too. So thanks for tuning in on uh, Guardian Approved. We appreciate the support as always. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, the bell icon for notifications and we'll continue to put out more content for you.